Hey guys, I'm Sumit from Backbench Coder. Hope you have enjoyed the last part of this series where I made this amazing neomorphic UI. And now it's time for JavaScript. So first of all, create a JavaScript file. And you might be wondering about the sounds folder. The sounds folder basically consists of all our audio files. And I'll put a link of the sounds folder in the description box and just download it from there. Okay, so now create a new file which is index.js. Nice. And now link this file with the HTML go to the end of this body and let's say write script source and then the file name or file path nice and now go to index.js file now what do you need to achieve so let's make a nice to do nice little to do okay so first of all i need to i need to listen for a click event on all these buttons so that whenever a button is clicked it should you know, emit a unique sound and then whenever this button is clicked i need a little animation to show that this button is clicked so let's arrange the to do first of all select all the drum elements and add event listener nice and then the second one add animation add animation when a button is clicked and the third one yeah play music nice so first of all access the html document so document dot and then there are multiple ways to select an element that is like get elements by id sorry get element by id get elements by class name query selector query selector all and i will show all these ways in this project so that you can have a great idea about what to use when in this case i will be using query selector all and then pass a class name so remember all these buttons have a common class name which is drum so as this is a class i will add dot before this and then the class name dot drum so this will basically returns an array of all those elements which has a class name drum so i will store this in a variable which is let's say var um, drums nice and then add an even listener so I need to add event listener to all of these elements. So I will use a for loop for let i is equal to zero. It will go to length of this array. So drums dot length nice i plus plus nice. So this is a normal for loop. Oops, there is a double semicolon. No, I want a single one. Nice. Now select each element which is drums i. So it will select by index drums i dot add event listener so what kind of event i want i want a click event so there are like hundreds of events in an web page like click drag drag up drag down mouse up mouse down and all i want to listen for a click so whenever this click is triggered i want to trigger a function which is the second parameter and let's name this handle drum click nice now let's create this function handle drum click so this drum click is basically a callback function so if you don't know about callback function just check it out it's just passing a function inside a function so handle click drum what it will do well now whenever an event is occurred like click mouse up mouse down it passes an event object which holds all these details about that event to this you know callback function and i can access the event here event and just log out ah event nice so let's go to console let's see if all is working fine mm, click nice look at this this is an event object which holds all this data a ah, lot of things and like look at this this event type is clicked okay so fine so far so good then the second is add animation when a button is clicked nice so how can i add an animation okay so the concept is whenever a button is clicked i will add some css properties to that particular element and then after some time i will remove that css property so the best way is add a css class which holds all these properties right so go to style.css also what i mean so just add a new class which is let's say dot pressed nice and just make it opacity 0.5 and to give the real animation add another property which is box shadow and the value is minus one pixel let's say minus one pixel the border radius i want around three pixel and the color is background nice 
so now i want this uh, class to be added dynamically so go to javascript now create a function which will take care of this adding and removing class so const let's say add animation or just animate 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 okay fine so now how can i select that button that particular button dynamically so i'll be using this event object so remember this all buttons has the same class name as the same text content so i'll take advantage of that so first of all i will get the inner value of that particular element so let's say inner html is event so event dot target that particular element dot target and then inner html nice so now just log this log this out look at this inner html nice so if i go to browser mm, okay so if i go to browser look at this if i click on s so this is s this is d so i am getting all this inner html now i can use some string interpolation and use this dynamically to select an element so i just pass this uh, inner html to the animate function now inside this animate function accept this as a key and then again select those elements so document dot okay so now i will select this using query selector so that it selects only one and there is only one class name by the way so query selector now i'll add some kind of string interpolation so for that use this tilt and then add our string which is dot which basically signifies the class name and then the variable which is dollar key nice and this will return me an element which is let's say const what current key nice current key fine it's not cos and it's const okay now add that press class so current key dot class list dot add and then add that press class which is pressed okay so now let's see if it's working or not if i go to console if i click an element let's say d look at this if i click on s oops uncut document dot slash dot space s so there might be a space in html so i don't want any space bro okay fine now guys if you see this if i click on s this pressed class is still added so i need to remove this after some seconds so go to the javascript file and let's use set timeout set timeout so it what it does so what it does it fires a callback function after some seconds so i can specify the seconds here so this is 250 milliseconds and then what i want i want to remove that class so current key dot class list dot remove the class name is test nice now look at this if i click on is nice it is removing the class after 250 milliseconds nice now let's add the sound so for the sound i will use the same approach i will pass that you know inner text element to a function and that function will take care of the sound so let's create a function which is make sound uh, make sound nice and then what it takes it takes a key and do something whatever you want make sound nice and just call this function whenever this is clicked right so call this function make sound here and pass the same element which is inner html nice and now in this make sound function you can use an if else like if this key is w then play audio 1 if this click is s then play audio 2 but i want to make this a switch case so go to switch this is far more better than if else for a long term so switch it takes the key and then there are some case so case let's say case for w it will do something like play music nice and then break this this is a typical typical switch case now let's just copy this case for the other elements so case mm, mm, indentation where are you okay so copy this copy this copy this copy this i think seven seven times right and then change the case 
this is w this is a and then the third one is s then the fourth one is d then the fifth one is j sixth one is k and then third one is l and then i need a default case which is default means whenever no valid element is clicked which is not possible but phir bhi log hmm, hey wrong button wrong button nice so what i am doing i am listening for a click event on all these buttons so whenever a click is click is triggered i am launching this function this handle drum click and then this handle drum click it extract this inner html from that event and then calling two function which is animate and make sound and then animate is just adding a class and removing this after 250 milliseconds and then this is make sound and make sound is basically a switch case which calls a function play music so now define this play music function so const play play music okay so what it wants so wow so i need to pass a defined music for defined element so whenever this w is triggered i need to pass a, a sound one so if i go to sounds folder you can see this sound one sound two sound three sound four all this in a sequence so okay so whenever this w is triggered i will send this sound one's path so sounds sounds inside sounds folder this is sound one dot mp3 and just copy this path for the a i want to send sounds b sorry sound 2 of sound 2 and then for the third sound 3 and then for the case d of case d i want sound 4 and then for the case j i want sound 5 now oh, sound 6 and for the case L, I want sound 7. That's all. Now I need to find a way to play this music. Okay, so inside this play music, I I got the path which is path. Nice. And now let's create an audio. Just a one line. Create the audio object and then pass the path. Put this inside audio. Nice. And now just play it so audio dot play cool uh, it should work mm, if i click on yes wow there is an error regarding the favicon so just ignore that now d nice so click on w a j k l cool okay so now i need to add this keyboard listener event to this button so that i can control this using keyboard so w a s d and boom 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 so now this time add event listener for all the key press just document dot add event listener for key press i mean like whatever key is pressed using keyboard and then i want to launch a callback function which will basically filter what is the key so how can i do that mm, const triggered triggered key okay fine so this is the variable name I remember this passes an event so just get that event again if you don't know what is callback function i will make a separate video about callback function so it will get the key using event dot key nice and then again just pass it to a make sound triggered key right and what i also need is to animate it so animate pass the key triggered key so that's how functions makes your life easier i create a single function and use multiple times okay so let's see if this is working or not then trigger the keyboard button w wow is the 10 10 oh. so in the next video i'll be implementing this feature which is sound up I mean volume up volume down and then this start auto music which is basically an implementation of set interval okay so that's all bye